best friends Elaine Lavery and Hannah O'Reilly have backgrounds in business and law and commerce, respectively. But it's Elaine's passion for cooking and food that led to the establishment of their company, Improper Butter. Hi, Dragons. My name is Elaine. This is my best friend, Hannah. And we're here today to ask for 37,500 euros of your money for 15% equity in our business, Improper Butter. Improper Butter is a range of improperly delicious Irish flavoured butters. They are delicious. They create restaurant quality food at home and they really make mealtimes simply delicious. We met in college. I was studying commerce. Elaine was studying business and law. So when I completed my degree, I took a year off and I went to work in France as a chalet chef. While I was um, in France, I actually wanted to buy myself as much time as I could in the slopes. So in the morning, I used to whip up herb, flavoured butters, have them prepared in the fridge. So then in the evening, all I had to do was cook off a simple piece of fish or meat or add the flavoured butter to my vegetables or potatoes to create a delicious, flavourful meal for the guests. So they were happy and so was I. When I returned to Dublin, I really thought, you know, this product, it should be retailed. Ireland is known for its dairy. We've got the best quality butter in the world, yet nobody is adding real value to butter in this way. So I approached my best friend, Hannah, and asked her to come on board to help me with the branding and the marketing and packaging of this product um, so we could move it forward into retail. About six months ago, we came together on this project. Um, I was studying to be a soprano in the Royal Irish Academy of Music and she came to me with this idea and I just thought it was too good an opportunity to pass up to work with your best friend on a great idea. So we have um, some steak done and it's got our garlic, flat leaf parsley and lemon butter just added on top of it before serving. Food products have often done well in the den and the dragons dig in with gusto. But Elaine and Hannah know that regardless of taste, their butter's chances of getting an investment will rest primarily on one thing, the bottom line. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Elaine. I'm Barry. Hi, Barry. Hi, Barry. So what have you sold so far of your product? We've sold, we've turned over about 6,000 euros. And um, that's retailing in, you know, initially it was a couple of shops. We're now up to about 25 um, retail outlets in Dublin. Um, so yeah, 6,000 euros in the last three months um, and a profit on that of about 3,000 uh, gross profit. Where do you guys get the butter made? It's Irish creamy butter. It's coming from the Kilkenny Co-op. We want this product to be accessible and we do think that there, there could be a uh, scope for this to be in the multiples. Um, and we are speaking with one already about that. Hi, Elaine, Hannah. Uh, like the branding, uh, you know, improper butter, it's, it's almost a statement in itself. But uh, in these days when people are so calorie conscious, uh, does that name not create a bit of a, a doubt in people's minds? There's a few different strands to the name. So M being the Irish for butter. We're also kind of taking a basic commodity like butter and doing something a little bit bold with it by adding these herbs and spices. So in that way, it's improper. Um, to kind of deal with the, the health, the calorie counting issue, really there's more and more research to show that butter as a natural product is you know, it's, it's very high in amino acids, vitamin A, vitamin D. Um, people are, are turning away from the kind of low-fat margarines and they're just maybe kind of going back to the old saying of, you know, everything in moderation. Hannah, you did say uh, you studied music and soprano, so would you hit a note for us? <laughs> go on, go on, go on, just to, No, 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 to hear, to, to, to hear a real soprano up close is just fantastic. What go on, I, go what on. I sing? Just, just, um, just, just hit any aria, go on. Tis the last rose of summer when all flowers bloom. <laughs> very good, very good. Very well, done. well done. Gavin is certainly getting his money's worth out of this pitch, but are the girls going to end up with any investment? Peter Casey thinks he might have found a fatal flaw in their system. So if I was another butter manufacturer here and your product takes off, why would I not just say, okay, well, let's just put blue cheese in and just sort of snap you out of business overnight? I suppose, well, I'm hoping that Hannah will build up a good enough brand out of improper butter that they'll just want to buy improper <laughs> butter rather than do it themselves. But um, it's very much a um, quality-driven product what we're, that we're producing. We're going for flavour more than, you know, mass market, that kind of idea. Thank you very much. What's the, what's the price? Their, their recommended retail price is 265 Okay. 
Chris, there are a couple of competitors out there, aren't they doing something similar, have I seen? There's not a whole pile going on in the flavoured butter kind of sector. We do see a competitor to be the fresh sauces. Um, because this is exactly how this product should really be used. It's at its very best, you know, you know, grill a piece of fish and add this product as your sauce at the end. So that's kind of where our competitors lie. Girls, what are you looking from a dragon? We're really looking for someone who's going to bring, obviously, the retail experience and a passion for the product that we have. I think the experience, um, you know, especially in terms of log logistics and distribution, to have, you know, someone on your team that kind of has that experience and has that, you know, knowledge and ambition with you would really make a difference. You've been very clear about what you want from a dragon in terms of retail experience. That's not me. So I'll be a customer of Improper Butter, but not an investor. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. The girls are looking for 37 and a half thousand euro. It's not a massive sum by den standards, but if the dragons have any doubts, we know they'll keep their wallets closed. Anna, Elaine, love the product. My concern would be the big people, if you are successful, will come in and just say thank you for doing all the market research for us and do it overnight themselves. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. I'm very impressed by you, I have to say. Um, Elaine, you remind me of a younger version of myself, to be entirely honest. Um, I would like to make an offer. I have a retail background, marketing, branding, all that. Uh, you know, I can certainly help with and, and, and provide, but I don't have the food retail expert. So what I'd like to do is to make you uh, an offer for 18 and three quarter thousand for 15 percent of the business um, if either Gavin or Eamon here to my left wants to go in that's thank my you. offer thank you I have something in my portfolio in this space a range of pour over sauces so uh, look I, I'm going to bow out yeah. uh, at this stage okay, okay? thanks Gavin. thank you there's lots of different trends in the food industry, and there's trends towards health and, you know, uh, low fat and all the rest of it. But there's also a, a trend towards authenticity and, you know, have something small but really good. And I think that's what this is about. So I'd be very happy to partner with Ramona for 37,500 for 30% of the company. Can you take a few moments? Yeah, take some time to think about that. Yeah, just yeah. your time. Thanks. The girls are being asked to part with twice as much equity as they planned. It's too early days to, to give away that much money. And... Okay. okay. Ramona, Eamon, thank you for your offer. Um, would you reconsider, um, I mean, at the moment we feel to give away 30% of our company is a high proportion to give away. It's very early days and we do feel that we can grow the value of this business. You know, well, we just wouldn't be All I'd say is you think of 30% as a percentage, um, you know, cash is cash. And yeah. I think um, what I can bring to the party w will, will mean that you'll have a much bigger pot. We appreciate your experience. We really do. And your offers. Um, but actually, we do have other offers on the table where we can probably give away less. OK, this isn't yours. Begs the question why you're in Dragon's Den. We didn't want to give away 30% of our business at this stage. If we could bring it to 20%, <laughs> we would be delighted. I would consider at a later date uh, selling down my percentage yeah, if you had certain that, milestones. That's what I would say also, that the equity can go down over a period of time. It's nice to talk about bringing equity down, but if equity was brought down today and we were able to move forward from that point... We won't really compromise on the 30%. Um, now, because the business is still at a very early stage. However, we will bring it down to 20% at the end of next year if you hit your targets. And that's, that's your targets that we would agree. Eamon, Ramona, we'd be delighted to accept your offer. <laughs> well negotiated. So new dragon Eamon gets off the mark with his first investment. And Elaine and Hannah win the admiration of everyone in the den. I think they're the best negotiators we've had. Yeah. And that alone gives you faith in them. Doesn't it? Yeah. They're completely live wires. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You know, right. you, quite, just... you can't negotiate unless you're prepared to walk away. They were prepared to walk they away. Were. Yeah, yeah. It's maybe they'd be teaching me a thing or two. <laughs> <laughs>
Elaine, Hannah, well done. Congratulations. You're some negotiators. <laughs> God, it was tough. It really was. Um, I mean, we didn't want to leave the den empty handed, but we really didn't want to give away 30% equity in our company with no terms. <laughs> Where did that negotiating come from? Have you ever done anything like that before? Um, I think working with your best friend, you kind of negotiate on a daily basis. <laughs> so maybe that's just been a, all that good practice. When you came into the den, had you targeted any particular dragon? Yeah, I think we really had um, really looked at Eamon um, just as the, you know, the kind of food, the food background there. Also Ramona in, in retail and, and, you know, Ramona being a woman in business as well, it's very inspirational for us. So that was another kind of reason to really, you know, hope that she would uh, take us on and, and really like our pitch. Well, well done. The best of luck. And it looks like you're going to keep those dragons on their toes. Congratulations. Thank you, Richard. Thanks a million, Richard.